Every single one of my clients believed 100% that they were dealing directly with Clayton Morris. I mean, it's, it's definitely more than just an average guy that's selling homes, you know. He, he, quit, he seemed like he had quite a passion for for re rental real estate, so enough to quit a box job. Hey everybody, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder of Morris Invest, and I've rehabbed hundreds of homes in my life. From my client's standpoint, talk about they, they watched a video from a very reputable person as a national public figure, reputation behind him, comes to Indianapolis, it's a great community. You have wonderful return on your investment and we're guaranteeing that. Why not drink the Kool-Aid? If you look at what's going on throughout the United States, Indianapolis consistently comes up. You can get a lot of property here for um, a, a, a little bit of money. Two years ago, I started listening to Clayton Morris's podcast on, on YouTube. Started getting some, uh, you know, I was in, looking at investing in properties. I live here in California. It's pretty expensive here to invest. Um, Mr. Gomes, you know, total novice, the newbie in essence. It appears a majority of, of these investors, you'll see that theme throughout. I uh, spent about $52,500 on the property, uh, paid cash. Uh, about two months in, I got a notice or two uh, for my grass being too tall, small things like that. I got another notice in the mail, and this notice was for, uh, it was a notice to demolish. That home burned down four days prior to the closing. Uh, my client was not aware that that property had burned down whatsoever. The fire occurred on February 4th, which is three days before I closed escrow on the, on the house. So I signed that form. They acknowledged that it was in the same condition the house was uh, as it was when we entered escrow. And so I thought everything was going fine. Um, the demolition costs, on average, we've heard it's going to be anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. So my my client's easily looking at six figures, six figures that he would be in debt and a potential loss. I try to take all this on myself and not let my wife know too much about it because I did take retirement money out to to buy this house, and then to hear this is just kind of like you know he's had enough chances to make things right. And he obviously doesn't care.